The mayor of Greater Manchester has lashed out at Westminster, saying the imminent lockdown in his region will push people into poverty. That's after talks to avoid those stricter measures collapsed on Tuesday. We made a generous and extensive offer to support Manchester's business. The mayor didn't accept this, unfortunately, uh, and given the public health situation, I must now proceed with moving Greater Manchester, as I say, to the very high alert level. No point today where we offered enough to protect the poorest people in our communities through the punishing reality of the winter to come. I now look to Parliament to intervene and make a judgment on a fair financial framework for Tier 3 lockdowns. What's really striking about this latest disagreement is the politicisation of it, as seen by uh, some, with uh, the Labour mayor, uh, Andy Burnham, holding out, saying that this city, with its falling number of cases uh, since its peak in September, shouldn't be going into Tier 3 lockdown, not at least without some kind of uh, sufficient financial package from the central government. Now, initially, the mayor had said that his team had sent a costed amount close to around £90 million as part of that package. The government's figure was around 60 million, but they just couldn't seem to come to an agreement. Eventually, the government have put forward only 22 million pounds. Uh, speaking to some of the locals on the street, the majority of them backing the position of the mayor, Andy Burnham. I'm really proud of Andy Burnham, the mayor of Manchester, for really, <laughs> the, the way the BBC put it was uh, bending the, the government over a barrel and really sticking hard on this one and defending those people because the the economic package they announced just it won't keep people alive. I do think it's very good that he's holding out for financial measures because we do need that and it hasn't been done enough. Uh, but also there is a point where you cannot hold human lives as a leverage anymore. I don't think that they should put us into tier three without giving people the correct financial support. So otherwise people aren't going to be able to survive with it. So I don't know. I think it's a bit stupid. Yet the government still insisting this part of the country should be going into tier three lockdown. What that means for those, especially the lowest paid in the cities, well, it's going to be a long, dark winter ahead. Starting on Friday, Greater Manchester will be put in the UK's top risk bracket for COVID, classed as Tier 3. That means a ban on mixing between households, guidance against travel in or out of the area, and the closure of all pubs. We heard from local councillor Alan Brett, who labels the drastic measures as misguided. I'm still not convinced that Tier 3 is the solution to the rising rates, especially in my borough, in this uh, time. Uh, if rates start plummeting, then obviously the government was right and we're wrong. The big uh, issue is to protect lives and is also to make sure our economy doesn't tank. It's a known fact, I think, that if you're poor and you're in a low income job, you're more likely to catch this disease and you're more likely to have other health problems. So if, unless we have a proper financial package, then all will happen is the local economy will get uh, badly hit and it will affect the poorest members of the community.